could characterise that. <laughs> oh God. One could characterise that as an absolute disaster and it's only 6.42. Happy New Year. I plan to come to Eggborough power stations. Planned it, know where I'm going, know where I'm parking. Sunrise time, sunrise angle. I know exactly where I was going to stand. Got up, started driving, started raining. I thought this is not forecast. Arrived at location, big sign saying, enter at your own peril and it's raining and I've got my brolly and I've got my head torch and I've got my larger torch umbrella keeps collapsing and I'm walking ankle deep in mud got lost found where I was going to go and the mud is unbelievable just about to get to where I go there's a big sign saying polite notice don't enter you get prosecuted so I skirted around it got more covered in mud and I just couldn't get the angle I was after Oh, and it's raining again and it's freezing and I'm about two hours too early so I'm walking back just got back to the car I thought happy days I'm back at the car got a bit lazy with my phone tripped on a curve went absolutely flying I'm absolutely covered in mud as you can see but it's still early is that on? <laughs> it's still early third vlog of the year first two were crap so I didn't post them Hopefully I'll get something out of today. Anyway, see you soon. ta -da. Well, good morning again. Well, the uh, interestingness continues. Found plan B, pre-planned, arrived, roadworks. So I couldn't park what I was intending to park. Drove a bit further up, found somewhere else, and I've pulled in. <clears throat> walked into this field now behind me I'll, exp I'll change it exposure as you can see hopefully there's some absolutely awesome clouds developing behind me now we know what I'm going to say don't you but that's what I'm photographing one has to laugh so I'm doing square formats just zooming quite closely now it's I'm in the landscape so forgive me it's not exactly Turner-esque or Constable-esque wonderful landscapes but this is what I plan to do so hopefully you can see me so all I'm doing, I've got the live screen showing I'm zoomed right in, I didn't get the long lens out, I may go a bit further back so all I've done is, all I've got is a live view showing and I'm just moving the camera, panning the camera left and right and just looking for some kind of interesting composition that will produce a decent abstract black and white photograph. So you, all I'm doing is moving around and I've got, I've got nothing visible on the, on the screen settings wise and I'm just moving the camera left and right and if I see anything I'll take a bit of a deep, deeper dive. Because as a photograph, with the whole one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight cooling towers, it's not a very interesting photograph. Although there is some colour developing in the sky, and I, fo and I focus, excuse the pun, specifically on three of the cooling towers. You've got the middle cooling tower, and they tend to arc around it. So I've been thinking about what I'm going to do this year. I'll turn around so you can see my <laughs> chuckling face. So this year I intend to set myself several goals. That sky is absolutely burning. Several goals. Now when I was at college studying for my degree, one of the subjects which I'm sure you've all heard of is setting smart targets and that's what I'm going to do. This year, I'm going, to set my, I'm, going, I'm going to set myself smart targets, specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time bound. Now, there are variations of smart. So, for specific, so when you are looking to do a. Oh, God, now you can see this guy. When you're going to look to do a, a project, 
make it specific don't just walk out and say right I'm going to go out today I'm going to go out today to take some photographs be more specific I'm going to go out today take some black and white long exposures I'm going to go out today to take some photographs of local churches that way it'll be easier for you to for you to achieve your goal and to know that you've achieved your goal now even though you're not going to go along the lines of I'm going to improve my photography you can still measure what you've taken you can still measure your, phot your photographs and it's blowing a bloody hole you can still measure your progress set folders in Lightroom yes it's freezing set folders in Lightroom date them, add locations, ideally geotag them so you can go back and then look over the months to find out if your techniques are improving. If they're not, try to work out why they're not improving, what could you do better to produce better photographs of, for example, local churches. Is it achievable? There's little real point in setting yourself a target of I'm going to photograph all the churches in England over the next six months because you'll fail and more than likely you'll just give up on the project. Try to work out how many churches are in West Yorkshire, how many churches are in Leeds, how many churches are within two miles of where you live and focus on that. So be specific, measure how much you're improving during your project. Make sure it's achievable and it's within your skill set. And although equipment isn't the be on end all, make sure you've got the right equipment to be able to do, take the photographs. If I was to try to take deep space photographs with a kit lens, decent as they are, it's not going to work. Oh, that sky, that sky. Is it realistic? Have you got a realistic chance of getting what you're looking to get? If you're looking to photograph a, a church, at sunrise you have to make sure the sun is rising in the correct angle to get the sunrise colour again time bound doesn't really apply to a short term project but for a long term project set yourself an end goal if you don't you won't know when you've arrived so to speak well that's me just about done for for this morning and what an eventful morning it has been I'm bloody wet through covered in mud and for some reason I've managed to reset my camera to the, the default settings it took me bloody ages to program every button but hey it happens today's Edinburgh cooling towers all eight of them in their gloriousness I would have loved for them to have been venting however with it being a pretty white sky you wouldn't really see much of the smoke yeah. pleasant morning I want to hang around a bit longer because the sky, the sky and clouds seem to be developing but my feet are wet and I'm bloody freezing. I love these days. I love these days. You can't get too frustrated. I'm going to give you a shout out in a second. It's something I'm going to do every week. I did it a couple of years ago, but I've lapsed slightly. So this week's shout out. Photo Ninja. He did a vlog recently and I'll have to look it up. Stourhead Gardens. National Trust. The reason I mention it is because he was out with his family at a busy National Trust location and he vlogged in public. He did quite well. I think he found it quite challenging as he admitted it himself. But good on you for persevering. It's something I really struggle with, vlogging in public. And I do admire, as I said before, those who can vlog in public when there's people walking two feet away from them. I can do it if there's people 20 mile away. I can do it if there's people 20 or 30 feet away sometimes. 
but to have somebody walking straight past you and to continue to vlog is admirable. So well done again mate, you did really well for vlogging when people are walking past you. You produced some nice photographs as well, I did like the one with the red tree in, that was lovely. So I'm on dry January and I'm gagging for a drink. I'm on my one Starbucks a week. Happy days though. Take care guys. I'll see you later. Happy New Year. I probably said it over there but there you go. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Oh, I'll, I will mention Landscape Photography on YouTube UK. 